Good morning, it's Melvin from Malwarebytes here with a two-part video on malware basics, identification, prevention, and recovery. So part one will focus on how to identify malware, and part two later in the week will cover prevention and recovery specifically. So what exactly is malware and how can it be avoided? The word malware, it's a, it's a catch-all really, catch-all word that refers to any malicious software that gets installed on a computer, phone, tablet, and is used typically for nefarious purposes. Malware is most often used to provide the attacker with access to your device, possibly to control it remotely, uh, monitor your device, or steal sensitive information like login credentials and your bank account information. So here are some types of malware that we need to be aware of. And there are many variations of malware used for different purposes. And this list covers the most common. So a virus. A virus infects files on your device, replicates itself, and may damage or destroy the files that it touches. Next is adware. This type of malware is usually more irritating than harmful. Um, it pops up unwantedly uh, with advertisements while you're browsing the internet, and it will redirect you to a specific advertising site when you run an online search. Now, Trojan, a similar method of attack that was used by the occupants of the mythical Trojan horse. Its malware variation is disguised or packaged inside a legitimate file to trick you into downloading it and releasing a malicious payload, whatever it may be. A worm. A worm can, be, can replicate itself again and again, uh, deplete your device's services. Some worms can modify or delete files uh, or install other malicious malware. Next is spyware. As the name implies, spyware gathers your sensitive data and transmits it to the attacker. And then we have Keylogger. A keylogger, similar to spyware, keyloggers gather sensitive information and share it with the attacker. Keyloggers, however, can do this by recording all of the keystrokes. Attackers can then review the recordings and extract things like account information credentials and answers to, to security questions. Next, we have root kill. This malware provides the attacker with ongoing access to your computer by opening what is referred to as a backdoor Criminals can then use this access to install additional malware as new vulnerabilities are found in the operating system and applications used by your device. Next is a botnet. A botnet is a network of infected computers. Malware enables the attacker to join your device to the botnet. These networks under the control of the hacker can bombard websites with traffic, overloading them and bringing them down. These are called DOS denial of attack services. And these botnets are used to harvest sensitive data. Next, we have ransomware. A cyber criminal will use this malware to deny access to your data. This attacker will typically encrypt the information, then demand a ransomware payment, usually via cryptocurrency. In return for providing you with the key to unencrypt your data and restore your access, however, the attacker simply may just take the ransom and disappear, leaving you without access to your data or deleting it altogether. Paying the ransom, therefore, it's not recommended, as doing so will not yield that desired result and may end up putting you on some sort of primary target list, thus subjecting you to future attacks. In many cases, malware installed is it's just only the beginning. Criminals use malware to steal sensitive personal data like your national insurance number, credit card information, account passwords, your bank account information. Once they have that, they can use it to commit identity theft, making fraudulent charges to your credit card, opening new accounts in your name, and targeting your contacts with spam emails. They appear to have, that appear, well, actually appear to have come from your inbox. Next, we're going to be discussing in part two is how can we prevent and how can we recover from these attacks? Thanks for listening. Have a great day.